Now, according to the song, a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down, and it seems that there may be more truth to that than previously thought. Yes, a medical trial into the use of sugar to help heal wounds is to be expanded into several hospitals in the region. With more on this, here's our science correspondent, David Gregory. Now she can enjoy walking in the autumn sunshine here on the campus of the University of Wolverhampton. But very recently, Pearl couldn't walk at all as a fissure on her foot refused to heal. You know, it was so painful. I've been pain for days, weeks, and months. When she cried for the pain, she turned, she asked for help. I tried my best, but it's like nothing wasn't there. This is the man Pearl calls the sugar man. Morning. Good morning, Moses. How are you? And he had a new treatment, packing Pearl's wound with simple sugar to help it heal, all based on childhood experiences growing up in Zimbabwe. All this started when Dad was a single parent, bringing up four boys. And you know, if you have four boys and you're a single parent, you're in the village where there's no hospital, so you have to use whatever you have. So it was either salt or sugar. And I would be very happy if it was sugar, because salt was so painful. So how does this work? Well, what it seems to do is draw water in from the wound, from the bacteria around it, that kills off the bacteria. It also seems to improve the circulation, uh, and that, of course, aids and speeds up healing itself. Results are so promising, the initial trial is being expanded with a £25,000 grant. And those involved in the earlier trial are still using sugar as a treatment. Now we're continuing to use it on patients, consultants are tending to request us to use it on, on them. Um, and nurses are using it on wounds that they feel that they would be beneficial to. Moses has other traditional remedies he wants to investigate, but for now, sugar is his sweet spot. David Gregory, BBC Bins Today, Walsall. Isn't that fascinating? Yeah. Hey, you can find out more about this by logging on to David's blog. That's on www.bbc.co.uk slash David Gregory.